They're going back and forth on the debt ceiling. They're saying, well, the Republicans want to negotiate. And, they, and they're just holding uh, America hostage. Well, if it's this important, why don't they then give in and negotiate? What's their, why, is the Democrats, why do the Democrats have this political line that's respected, but the Republicans can't have one? Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of rules for thee, but not for me type of situation. But this is the other thing is, is we do have enough money, uh, but we have a misallocation of funds. I mean, yeah. I believe our defense budget is $1.7 trillion. We've given $120 billion to the Ukraine, I believe, is what the latest total is. It's like we have the funds to actually help the American citizens, but instead they care more about using those resources to help out the illegal immigrants that are flowing through the border or just other people, yeah. you know, more about fighting a war in Ukraine than helping out American citizens. Yeah, does that, I mean, so the, the poll came out on Biden uh, earlier today and it was uh, 60% of Americans think he's done little or nothing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, like 60%. Yeah. This is not a guy who people are looking at and saying, oh, this is a juggernaut, how are we gonna beat him? He should be very beatable for almost any Republican. The question is, are you surprised at all that people view Biden that negatively or maybe not No, not, not at all. You know this. And everybody knows this that's watching this. Even the liberals that are in my, you know, chirping at me and stuff, they know Joe Biden is a puppet. Everybody knows that. Whether it's like, you know, Hillary or Obama, whoever's in charge of the DNC, I think people are pretty sure that Kamala Harris and Joe Biden aren't sitting there making the decisions that they're being told what to do. So that's probably a reason why his you know, presidency is such a failure is the fact that, I mean, if he was making the decisions himself, maybe it could possibly be worse. But just the sheer <laughs> fact is it's meant to be bad. I believe his presidency is meant to be bad right now. How do you think he did with the uh, the Chinese spy balloon situation? Oh. How did Joe perform in that one? Can you imagine, you know, not immediately shooting that down? And the, just the fact is we have balloons, we have, you know, spy balloons, this and that. It just, it opens up Pandora's box, but we cannot get in a war with China because economically we are just so dependent on them. So I understand, you know, I want to give Joe Biden like a little bit of credit. Be like, mm. I get it. You want to have some sort of political, geopolitical d diplomacy. I get that. But come on, that balloon could be filming me while I'm in the shower, Joe. I don't want that. <laughs> Shoot that thing down. I don't know what it's got cameras on it. No, I do not want any Chinese spy satellites in our airspace. And this other thing is the balloon is supposed to fly at 100,000 feet. I believe it came down into like in the 40,000 or something. Mm. That's near where planes fly. So yeah. I don't, yeah, that just seems like a hazard. As a person that flies a lot, I don't want... Big Chinese weather balloons in my <laughs> flight path of my Southwest Airlines flight. Is that too much to ask for, Joe? I will say there was some suspicion among our audience of you uh, with this situation. Uh, this comes in from the big guy. He says, what does Alex know and when did he know it? Spy balloon, pimp on a blimp, coincidence? I think not. That's what I'm saying. And my show is about to launch and my, st <laughs> my set is a blimp. So it's like, what are the chances? I, I'm in the news as the blimp guy. China's in the news mm -hmm. with their spy blimp. It's just the perfect cohesion of blimp and primetime and pimping. And if you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe to our channel so you'll be sure to see similar videos from Blaze TV with the added bonus of signaling YouTube that your voice and opinion still matters. And if you're looking for more great conservative content, check out one of the two videos suggested here.